Lord, I say, the Father, this is real. Will you watch over me? Will you raise them up to be strong? I don't, I, I'm just a man with flesh. This is what you call for in your scriptures. You said they wore studs and fringes, they got it on. You said they are follow the law, they doing it. You said under your house shine, they ought to love one another. Are they doing it? talking to our people, but guess what? We ain't your enemy, man. You understand? Check that out. We not your enemy up here. Like, this is what you call real love up here. When you got people that, when we, when our people are doing wrong, and we're dying because of it, when we come out here and teach our people the right way, that's love right there. You understand? We have a real enemy out here, black man, black woman, and guess what? It's not each other. It's not each other. I'm going to show you in the Bible who the Lord says is our enemy. You stick around, we're going to show it in the Bible. The Christian church don't teach this, man. Let me get uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 48, man. The Christian church do not teach the black man and the black woman who their real enemy is. They make it so mystified. They make it seem like the air is our enemy. Guess what? Or, you know, like it's something spooky or something. The Lord puts a face to who our enemy is, man. And let's get this in the scripture. You got that? 28 and uh, 48. We're going to get this in the book of, Deuteron uh, book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 48. You understand? Y'all stick around. Because, listen, the Christian church has never told us that we that told black men and black women that we got enemies. You understand? Stay hydrated. The side head is fresh water. Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemy. It says, therefore thou shalt thou serve thy enemies. Go ahead. Which the Lord shall send against thee. Which the Lord shall send against thee. The Lord just said that we're going to serve our enemies. You understand? Who are we serving over here? Who are we serving? You understand? Like, we wasn't born here to be equal to, be equal to this oppressor. No. We were born here and we were slaves, man. Our forefathers and foremothers got their backs beat. Damn. Our sisters got raped. Damn. They got their babies cut out of their stomach, man. Damn. And guess what? We still want to be equal to something like that. We don't want to be better than that. That's a real enemy. You understand? That, that brother who looked at you wrong ain't your enemy. That sister that got the same dress on ain't your enemy. You understand? Let's get some more in the show. Go ahead. In hunger. And in thirst. And in nakedness. And in what of all things. They say in hunger. And in thirst. And in what of all things. Listen. Our enemies got us in need of everything. Like we don't even produce our own water. We gotta go to our oppressor for the toilet paper that we use. You understand? They charge, they about to start charging us for the air we breathe, man. That's a real enemy. Black man, we got a problem out here. Real quick, drop there. Let me get, uh, go drop down to verse 68. We got one more for you real quick. Cause we gonna show who the enemy is and we gonna show some of their tactics real quick. Y'all ready? Is anybody out here ready in Baltimore? We're going to show who our enemy is right here. You got that? Go ahead. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Go ahead. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ship. The Lord say, he shall bring thee into Egypt again with ship. Egypt means bondage. Yes. Yes. Anybody who understands, everybody who read the book, um, uh, the story of Moses, realized that the Israelites were slaves in Egypt. Am I correct? Egypt was not called Egypt back then. Nope. Egypt was called Mizraim. Right. It's not in the Hebrew. Right. You understand? The word, the word Egypt means house of bondage. Read that again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with shit. Hold on. The Lord shall bring thee into Egypt into bondage again. Go ahead. With shit. With what? With shit. With what? They said with ships, man. Who is the only people that's been taken into bondage by way of ships? Huh? This sounds like the transatlantic slave trade to me. Keep on. By the way, whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. The Lord is saying, when I'm telling you this, you're not going to see that land no more. 
Like right now, over in, that, uh, in uh, Palestine and in, 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 um, Israel, that's not their land. That's actually our land. The Lord say, right when the Lord was telling us this, we was over there. The Lord said, you're not going to see this land again. That's not saying you can't get on a plane, but we can't, we're not ruling in our own land right now. You understand? Like, that's what the Lord is saying to us. Keep on. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemy. Unto your what? Unto your enemy. Unto your equal. Unto your enemy. Unto your brother. Unto your enemy. Unto your friends. Unto your enemy. The Lord said you shall be sold yes, unto sir. your enemies. Yes, sir. Brother. You understand? Yes. So listen, we all, we all went to school. We all understand history. The Lord say that you are going to be sold unto your enemies. You understand? You're going to go into a house of bondage by way of ship and you're going to be sold unto your enemies. So let's put this together. Black man, Hispanic man, who's our enemy? According to, according to God, not according to us. The Lord is telling us who our enemy is, you understand? And it's not one another. A black man should never have a black, another black man as an enemy. A black woman, and when I say black, I'm talking about the name, I'm talking about everybody on this tribe. All of us are black. That's all, like, we're all black. The blacks, uh, Hispanics, the Native Americans, you understand? We are all under the same umbrella. We should never be enemies to each other because we got a real enemy out here, man. You understand? Yeah, read that from the top. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ship. The Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ship, go ahead. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. The Lord said, well, he, well he's telling us this, man. We're not going to see this land no more, man. Like we are not ruling in our own in our own land. Like how is that possible? We dealing with the enemy. We dealing with an enemy that's so diabolical. Let's let's picture this. Let's picture that you brought that, that you have a home, right? Someone kicks you out of your home. They take your house and then tell you you can't come in it. You understand? Am I supposed to be friends with them, or are they my enemy? That sounds like an enemy to me. Guess what, black man and black woman? This has already happened to us. You understand? We are putting a face to who, to, to who the enemy is. You understand? Let me get, drop that. Let me get Lamentations 4 and 18. Hey, thank you. Listen, we're going to get some more in the scriptures, because guess what? Not me, it's Salaki. <laughs> hey, we're going to get some more in the scriptures, because guess, guess what? Because we don't see them as an enemy, this is why we die in the streets. We take on their culture. We do the things that they do. You understand? We sin against our power. The one power that can protect us, we sin against him because we don't know who our enemy is, man. Because the Christian church tells us that we should love everybody. That's the problem with our community, man. We have been so, we have been so brought and sold by our enemy, man. But guess what? God is he's giving us the blueprint right here. He's telling us exactly how they deal with us. Let's let's see let's see let's see the next scripture and we want to see how the Lord said this our enemy deal with us. Lamentations four and eighteen. Come on, you got that? Go ahead. Lamentations chapter four verse eighteen. Go ahead. They hunt our steps. It says they hunt our steps. Go ahead. That we cannot go in our streets. It says that we cannot go in our streets. You understand? Listen, there's a certain diabolical pe people out here, right? They will go across the entire earth. Or they would spend 20, 30, 40, 50 thousand dollars to go and hunt an animal, cut his head off just to hang it on that wall. But guess what? That same diabolical person, he sets laws up and he hunts us still to this day. Listen, a black man, we can come out of our house and guess what? We don't know if we're going to return that night. This is why we got to be one with each other, black man and black woman. Like we, really, like, we don't have to have legal problems. You can step out your home and you may not return. That's the reality of our people, man. Because they hunt our steps. What does that mean? Like, anybody ever been to Chinatown? Anybody ever heard of Chinatown in the audience? Listen, in Chinatown, do you think that they have the Japanese uh, patrolling them? Matter of fact, let me, let, me, let me make it, let me bring it home to Baltimore. If you go to Jewtown, right, and everybody know what Jewtown is, right? right? Do you have any Germans controlling Jewtown? Do you have any Germans policing Jewtown up there? Uh -uh. Absolutely not. Well, why is there no Germans policing Jewtown? Because guess what? The earth understands 
that the Germans did something to the Jew to, to the so-called Jew, Jewish people. You understand? Guess what? Black man, black man and black woman, our enemy are hunting our steps. That's why they're policing us in our communities. You understand? That's why if the police get behind us, our registration can be right, our license can be right. But guess what? When that police turn the lights on, don't you get nervous? Don't you get fearful? Because you know that they will plant something on you. And guess what? And you will you won't be heard from or seen from again. You understand? Because they hunt our steps. This is what the Lord is telling us, man. This is not our words. Keep going. Our end is near. Our days are fulfilled. They say our end is near. Our days are fulfilled. That's exactly what it feels like, man. They feel like, listen, we come encounter with this oppressor, man, and we feel like our days are in. You understand? We we feel like something's gonna happen to us. That's why we feel the need to switch up when we get around them. We want to show them that we're a good black person. We want to show them that we're a good Hispanic. We're not like the other ones. You understand? Black man and black woman, be who you are. You understand? And guess what? It's nothing wrong with who you are. But guess what? You got to come. We got to come together in righteousness. That's the problem. We don't come together in righteousness. The way we can do that, man, come get a flyer. Come get a flyer and come into the school, man. Learn what the Lord expects from us. Learn what it means to keep these law, statutes, and commandments. Learn what it means to be a brother and a sister to your people. That's right. You understand? Like, that's what we have to do. Right. You're not going to get that nowhere else on earth. You're going to get that here. Like, this is love talk that we're giving our people right now, man. Yeah, yeah, it's going to hurt. The truth hurts sometimes, man. Guess what? Medicine is not, it doesn't always taste good. But guess what? You need it. You need that medicine. And that's what this is. Drop that. Let me get First Peter uh, 5 and 8, man. Because we've been hunted out here, we've been killed. Listen, we got more sisters being uh, unalived and kidnapped day by day. And that's not it. Listen, we the only people on the face of the earth that's still talking about what's happening to our kids on that border, man. The Christian church don't speak on this. You know why? You know what? Like, somebody, somebody, like, somebody really impressed, impressed me. And tell us why the Christian church don't speak on these issues. Not only do they not want to know the truth, guess what? They are brought and paid for by the same people that's oppressing us, man. Yeah, Babylon is falling.